All right, guys. So we got another update. We had some issues. Uh, I got everything put back together yesterday. Got everything bled, the clutch, the inching pedal, the brakes, everything 100%. For some reason, it wasn't, uh, wasn't uh, disengaging. And uh, it, it felt like somebody had the parking brake on. So I uh, screwed around with it a little bit more. It seemed to work itself out. There might have been some air in the system. So what I did is I took it off the jack stands and the wood this morning. I tried driving around and it felt like somebody had the parking brake on. So what I did is I brought it back and cleaned it all up, got all the fluid that I've spilled over it, got everything brought back inside. I got it back up on wood and uh, same thing. Nothing, nothing wanted to engage, nothing wanted to release. So what I did is I took everything apart again, cleaned everything, took everything apart, cleaned everything, put it back together, bled the brakes, got everything situated, and still locked up. I put a bar on, on each side. I couldn't even get the damn thing to turn. There's pressure under it. So I... Uh, I, I bled the brakes as soon as I opened the valve, fluid would squirt right out. So I knew that there was pressure in there. Cracked the lines at the back of the master cylinders. Nothing really came out. So all in all, I kind of got it figured out so that it's the, it's the uh, selector valve here. Even though I took it apart and cleaned it and got everything so that it worked, something inside of it just is jamming up wouldn't allow fluid to go from one side to the other and, and it kept holding pressure so uh i had to take it out so what i did is um the two lines here on this side go to the actual brake pedal these two lines go to the inching pedal um, so the fluid comes in from this side this goes to a t to each brake so that it does that, and then what uh, from the from the inching pedal that comes in on this side comes out and goes to the clutch inside the transmission. But I guess in the valve it's supposed to divert it to activate the brakes. So somewhere in that plunger setup inside, it's not working. So I took it apart, and what I did here is these two lines here, this one and this one, I put a coupler in between it, and uh, that's for the brake. And then this one over here is for the clutch inching pedal. So that's a dedicated clutch now, and this is a dedicated brake pedal. So it's kind of like an old truck, car, whatever. So we have the clutch and then the brake. So no matter what, it works. Um, tested it out, bled the brakes, everything seemed to work, no issues. I just finished getting the oil changed on it, so I got it filled up. <clears throat> I got to start it for a little bit, let it run. Um, this is the engine oil filter, PH8A, and then the transmission filter, there's no specs on it, and this is the old filter that was on it. There's no numbers, it's just installation instructions. I measured it, I spec'd it out. It is also the same as a PH8A, but I don't know if it's supposed to have uh, different micron levels because it's for the transmission. I'm not sure. I couldn't find anything in my book about it, but whatever. So they're both the same, they both work. Um, I topped off the transmission fluid, uh, takes regular ATF, nothing fancy. Uh, Got everything filled up for the engine oil. This is the uh, Waukesha D155. So from my research, it looks like it takes about four quarts, but my dipsticks rotted off. So I unfortunately can't tell you how much oil's in the damn thing because it's gone. So I've got to do something about that. That'll be another video for another time. Other than that, everything seems to work pretty good. We're going to get this thing fired up. And we'll see how it runs.
everything seems to work pretty good. Might be a little bit of residue left on that one. Nothing on that one. Seems like we're good. So hopefully, now what we gotta do is uh, get this off the wood, get it squared away, and uh, get ready to put the main cylinder back in it. And then this portion of the project is done. In the previous section of the video, you saw us get it all hooked up, dragged over here, moved, set up, and we started booming up. And you saw me keep hopping out and checking over things. Well, we were having an issue. I kept seeing a little bit of oil come out. Figured maybe it was just some leftover residue, whatever. But it wasn't. Once we got it almost vertical, it was pouring out. And I'll show you where it was coming from. The actual main line where the oil goes in, there's two fittings. There's this little aluminum one with the screen in it that sits in the actual block housing. That's got a little O-ring at the base of it, which was kind of hard. It was a little loose, had a little bit of play. I figured maybe some oil is coming out of there. And then this one right here, um, it's an o-ring boss fitting and when you put it in here this is the lock nut that locks it down this was loose the o-ring was squished flat it was ruined nothing left of the damn thing and actually here's a picture of what's left of it it's not even around anymore it's squished it's destroyed it's time for a new one i kind of assumed that the hydraulic shop would have rebuilt this section um when they were pulling it all apart, but I guess they didn't. No big deal. It is what it is. I got the parts, I'm making it happen. So hopefully now I can get this thing put back together and uh, start standing up, get it in here. We got uh, the eight, eight bolts for this mount for here. And then we got the four up top for the top section there. And then just two lines and that's in there. And then we gotta slam the, the the chains back in there and the back in the back cage. And we're good to go, back in business. Alright everybody, here we go. We got the cylinder installed. I just finished hooking up the two lines in the back, tightening them down. I got the two anti-rotation bolts in there at the bottom so that it doesn't spin around. Got the, the back locked in. We got the upper four locked in. And uh, ready to try it out. See what's actually gonna happen with this thing. Probably gotta prime the system while it's, while it's running, but.
definitely low on fluid. We're gonna have to put some fluid in it. But other than that, she's working. Now we can set to work to finishing the rest of it.